with Ling Ying, and uh, you just told me that there have been a couple of puns made about your name. Yeah. Care to share? So one of them is the silver Ling Ying behind every cloud. <laughs> the other's not too bad. It's your song has been Ling Ying in my head. That's good. That's a lot better than mine. Right. Actually, I have it on my. F oh wait, hold up. My phone is Ling Ying. What? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. What does Lin Ying mean? Is there a meaning behind your name? Oh yeah, my mom told I asked her this not too long ago, so she told me that Ying in Chinese means you're supposed to be smart, but I think I let her down a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> Second question, if you were to collaborate with somebody and anybody, dead or alive, who would it be? Bon oh. Yeah. 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 Would you rather lose your voice or your hearing? My hearing. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, it's a hard question to ask no, a musician no. this. My voice, my Your voice. voice. I can't imagine ever listening to music again. Fair enough, yeah, fair yeah, enough. Yeah. All right, that's a hard question. Yeah, it is a hard Next one. Next one, what's the most cliche compliment you've ever gotten? You're so tiny, you're so cute. Oh. <laughs> so I just like really big Swedish guy. Right? Like, okay. <laughs> just standing Thanks. there like, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's the most unexpected thing you think people would do whilst listening to your music? Showering or okay. like cutting food. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> What's your favorite Chinese phrase? It's a it's a chong yu, it's a four letter word. It's called ai wu ji wu, which means if you if you love the house, you've got to love the crows on top of it. Huh. What's your favorite Singaporean slang? This is a hard one. I rely so much on Singaporean slangs. I think shiok would be really good. Shiok. Yeah, I say it a lot. Yeah. yeah. And for those of eat. you that don't know what shiok is, it's an expression you make when the food is just too damn yeah, good. Just like, ah, oh, shiok. Oh, exactly. <laughs> damn shiok. All right, next one. What's your favorite country? I want to say Singapore because it's home, but then I have a lot of love and attachment for, for France. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, yeah it's a we'll give you France. Too. Singapore's home. It's a given. Yeah. <laughs> Who is your favorite musician? Bon Iver. Bon Iver. <laughs> Could you maybe help I us do so. a little phrase of his song or imitate him a little bit? Up in the air, we pull the curtain before the final comes. What is your favorite movie of all time? Oh, there's this uh, Miyazaki movie and it's called uh, The Borrower Ariete. I really don't think he intends to hurt us. What is your favorite book of all time? The Brothers Karamazov by Dostoevsky. Do you have a favorite quote from that book that you like to share? Yeah, I love the sticky little leaves. I love the blue sky. It's not about intellect or logic, it's about loving with one's insides, with one's stomach. <laughs> so beautiful, guys. I feel like I'm being enlightened right now. <laughs> and last but not least, what is one thing that people don't expect from you? That I really like food. I did an interview once with a writer and uh, we were just chatting and then I chose this place to meet her because it was really near a really good uh, prawn noodle place. When she said bye, she was like, I didn't expect you to be like that. And then I was like, oh, what did you expect? I don't know. I thought you were going to be someone in a cloud and not somebody who eats prawn me. What? I'm like, what's that supposed to mean? Th thank you? <laughs> anyway, yeah. thank you so much for sitting down and having time thank to talk to us. Thank you for having me.